Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this is a quick tutorial on how to move your save games from your original Skyrim to the new Skyrim Special Edition. Before we get to moving the saves, the first thing you're going to need to do is have played the Skyrim Special Edition and created a save. If you've already done that, you're good to go. If you have not, if you haven't fired up the Skyrim Special Edition, or you haven't created a save game, you need to go into the Skyrim Special Edition, Go down to the main menu, select New. It'll ask you if you want to start a new game. Say yes. You'll be taken on a wagon ride. And you need to ride along in that wagon. There's not much else you can do but look around until the point they let you off the wagon. When you're standing up on your own outside the wagon, you can hit Escape. You'll see the Systems menu in the upper right. Click on that. Go over to the left. Click on Save Game and create a new numbered save. When you do that, we can be absolutely sure that the Skyrim Special Edition will have created a save games folder, which looks just like this. So here is our Skyrim Special Edition, and here is that new save games folder. This is on your PC under Documents and My Games. So now that we have that folder, we can come to the original version of Skyrim and click on that and we see that we have our save games here. We'll double click on those and we're going to slide this bar back down so that we can see the Skyrim Special Edition and its saves folder very clearly and we're going to select the file that we want to choose. Now be careful that you're clicking the save that you want. You might want to organize it by the date modified just so you know it's the save that you really want. For our sake here, let's crossover two-handed sleep bringer this is the character that I use for the Skyrim bedtime stories and if you think you might be interested in a Skyrim bedtime story I'll leave a card right here in the video so you can take a look at those but back to saves right click on the save you want hold down that right click and drag it over to saves release the right click and click on copy here you don't want to just move it because there's no reason to delete it out of your vanilla Skyrim until you're ready. When you're ready to delete that off your computer, you can do that. Until then, it's probably safer just to copy rather than to move. Now that we have our save moved over to the Skyrim Special Edition, we can click on Saves here, and we see that we have Two-Handed Sleepbringer. Now, if we fire up the game, we can see under Load and All Saves that Two-Handed Sleepbringer, our Argonian bedtime story friend, has been moved into the Skyrim Special Edition. Now, it's worth noting that if you create a new save, a whole new save, in the Skyrim Special Edition, it will be created in one of these subfolders. So, Morris is the new Let's Play character. Here are the saves. If we try to load the Two-Handed Sleepbringer character, we'll get a notice that says that the high-res texture packs are no longer with us and we'll be able to load the game but ever afterwards when we save we won't get a separate folder like that the saves for these older characters will always only be in the all saves so right now if we hit escape and come over to system and say save game and create a new save we can uh, quit out to the main menu and when we come to load game you see I don't have a two-handed sleep bringer subfolder we need to go back into all saves and here we see two-handed sleep bringer Argonian level 50 that's our new save alrighty that is a quick tutorial on how to cross your saves from the old version of Skyrim to the new version of Skyrim I would like to remind you that if you look in the upper right hand corner you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Also, I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. I would like to thank you for watching. I would also like to thank you guys for being the best community out there. Truly you guys are awesome and I really do appreciate that. 
I would like to hope that you found the video informative and maybe just a little entertaining. I'd like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.